Hey, Clint Butler here. As you can imagine, page speed analysis tools can be a little bit, let's say, gobbledygook for people like you and me. I'm not a programmer. I've never played one on TV. And looking at a lot of this stuff, it just, frankly, it doesn't mean anything to me. Or, but it does in the relations of page speed optimization. So I had to learn a lot of uh, these little, you know, exactly what is this or what is that in order to figure out how to make my sites faster. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to read the website speed test results over at pingdom.com. This is my preferred use tool. Now, as you can see from the site, I've already run the test on this, uh, and it's the results are from the Stockholm Sweden test server which is no big deal because I just want to get the baseline of what's going on here right so the performance grade you could put some weight into it if you're one of those kind of people that wants to be in the 95 percentiles however the big things are the number of requests you want to minimize that obviously the load time for your site and then your page size I always shoot for something in the 1 to 1.5 range for your page site, especially if you're dealing with image heavy places. Because I've had one client who had a page size of 23 megabytes, and as you can imagine, the load time was significantly higher. Now, we were able to reduce that with just images uh, optimization, um, but still it ended up at 10 megabytes. And those, that's the danger you get into when you're using a lot of pretty pictures and trying to be fancy. You're going to slow down your site. So your goal should be anywhere between 1 to 1 1.5 megabytes. 2 is, you, you know, obviously we're pushing it with 2. So we want to look at the waterfall and basically what this does is it says here's the resource that we're pulling and this is how long it took to get and then it'll go through and get it and show it. Hosting is a significant issue and you'll know that right away if you see this here. What this saying is the server is responding really slow and it's taking almost five, yet yeah, probably about five seconds for the server to say hello here's the website and now you know you have a hosting issue. If this is a long, if this takes a long time to uh, populate, you have a hosting issue. You, you need a better host. JS and CSS are two different, they're scripts. Don't ask me the difference. I know this is what makes the site look pretty and this is what makes the site do stuff is the way that it was always explained to me. So you can see there's JS and CSS. This can be handled by minific minification. So if you see a lot of this in your test results, you know you need to work on some minification. Minification. The top part is typically all going to be coming from your website, and then eventually you'll see it transfer over to other code um, requests. And you can see the google.com shows up more. And we're still going down, and this is still minification issues. Then the images show up. You can see the images take a little bit more time. You can see the images are not optimized because of how big the file size is. And then even more um, JS and CSS code. And we're gonna keep going, keep going. Again, images, more code, more images. And now we're into third-party stuff. So, Third party stuff. One, Google.com and their API is notoriously going to slow down your site. So, you know, look for that. Look for uh, your plugin for social media. Look for Facebook. If you're using Google Comments, look for those. You have 10 or 15 things loaded in here. And those are all things that you can, you know, you have to decide whether you want or not. Scrolling back to the top real quick, here's a performance grade, just kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Leverage browser casting here is the, in this case, is bad. Some test tools pick up the proper leverage browsing, whether you have it um, engaged or not, it'll tell you you don't. So, you know, just make sure you do. And then you see the rest of the results here. Here's some page analysis stuff. I don't really spend a lot of time here, but you can see in, in general, you're waiting 
for the server to respond for the longest part here so there's probably going to be a hosting issue uh, with this site we'll do some other automation stuff in the main videos inside local profit breakthrough